Hello, and welcome to the second installment in the Loot Root Guide series. The map of Shinaris is insanely big, and can be pretty intimidating to new players. You can see the orange rectangle on the screen, which is about the size of a battlefield map, and the smaller red one, which is about the size of a Call of Duty map. So it's safe to say that there is a lot of map for new DayZ players to learn. This series is intended to help you new players learn the map by helping you figure out where you spawned, which important areas you should loot first, and where the hell you should go from there. For this installment, we're going to start off in Berezino and work our way across the northern part of the map into Tizi, which is one of the largest military bases in Cherno. This loot route is probably the best for finding military gear like AKs, M4s, and clothing with lots of inventory and hotbar slots. Berezino is a large town in the northeast section of the map. You'll most likely know you've spawned in Berezino by spotting the southern apple orchard or the industrial areas in here. Cherno and Electro have similar docks, but this one can be distinguished by how few shipping containers there are. It's much more of an industrial area than a shipping area. There's also an upper part of Berezino that has a hospital and a military tent, but I'm going to cover that as a part of a different loot route. For this one, we're going to head north instead of inland. Let's start by zooming in on the main part of Berezino. This part of Berezino has a fire station, a blue medical building, and a police station. There's also a well right here. Now we're going to head north to Rifty Boat. To begin, just follow the road north. Hop on the little path to the left of this brick building, and follow it all the way to Rifty. To the right of this path, you're going to find a bunch of boats where you can find a lot of food. This is a really good way to get your character energized before your journey. Rifty Boat is a cool little place where you can find some decent military gear. Once .63 dropped, uh, you could find like AKs and M4s here, however they've definitely decreased the amount or completely removed the amount that spawn here. But you can still find military vests, clothes, maybe some ammo in this area. Make sure that you check every single room, every single level, there's a lot to look through here. Uh, and a lot of people miss certain stuff, so you definitely want to be thorough when looting this. Our next stop is going to be the Northeast Airfield, and to get there you want to head back to the main road by heading west from Rifty. Turn right to head north along the main road. Once you get to this intersection, make a left. Now there are more direct and quicker ways to get to the Northeast Airfield, but it's pretty easy to get turned around in the woods if you don't have a compass, so the safest bet is to follow this road all the way to the Northeast Airfield. You'll enter a clearing where you can see some fences on the right. That's when you want to veer off and go through the fences and into the Northeast Airfield. The Northeast Airfield is a civilian airfield that doesn't have a lot in it. However, I do think this is going to be a really cool place to build bases and have trading outposts in the hangar once persistence and all that stuff is figured out. Now, for this airfield, we want to quickly loot the green military shipping containers and the green guard shack, both of which spawn some pretty decent stuff. After that, we're going to head northwest and follow a road to a nice little spot that has a ton of military gear, and not a lot of people know about it. If 
follow the road out of the airfield, and once you get to the end of this road, look at the hill and angle yourself towards the gap in the trees to the right of it. This is taking you northwest. Follow the road through that gap in the trees. That road will lead you to whatever the hell this place is called. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's got these four civilian barracks and one of those green little towers, uh, all of which spawn some great military gear. I, I mean, you'd be pretty unlucky to not leave here with at least a military vest and a couple clips. And nine times out of ten, I leave with a gun that has a clip in it. Now we're going to make our way to my favorite military base, Kamensk Military Base. Uh, we're just going to make two quick stops along the way that are going to be really helpful. We're going to follow this road west, all the way to the western part of Svergino. I mean, I think that's how you pronounce it, but you're going to have to forgive me if I'm getting that wrong. Again, there's not a lot in Sfergino. These are just little towns that are good to get food and water and other resources between military bases. Uh, there is a grocery store here. They don't really spawn a lot right now, but hopefully that'll get fixed. And then there's also a well here. We're gonna head west to Kamensk military base, but before that, we're gonna stop at a summer camp. Trust me, there's some good stuff there. Follow the road, and once you get to the green houses on the end, curve right. You'll know you're on the right track when you hit the clearing, and you can see the mining area with all those rocks to your left. Follow this stream, which is currently empty, and keep on it north until you get to the Summer Shack area. This area has a blue medical building, two civilian barracks, and a well nearby these tiny little summer cabins, which are great places to find PU scopes right now. Now to get to Kamensk military base, we're going to head out the main gate and go right to follow the road north. When you get to this intersection, make a sharp left, follow the road until you get to the clearing, at which point you want to veer a little bit off to the right and head up the hill. Keep looking around and eventually you'll see a wall with some green guard towers, and that's how you'll know you're there. If you followed my directions exactly, you'll get to see this cool little spot. Further up the hill is the main part of Commence Military Base. Kamensk Military Base is a really cool base. I've had a ton of fun getting into firefights here. It's made up of three parts. The upper part has three barracks. The middle part has two tents. And the lower part has five tents, one of those camo netting structures, and this new large military compound. There are also shipping containers scattered all throughout the base, and there are green lookout towers scattered all around the perimeter. These all spawn loot as well. I like to come into this base as I showed you, and go right to the large military building. 
I clear it room by room and then peek out the windows and check for players on the northern hill and on the ruins uh, to the west and to the south. After that, I check the tents and then if all's clear, just work my way from lower to the upper sections of the base. After that, I always head out the western side towards a small industrial area outside of Kamensk town. Head out the wall west and angle yourself slightly to the left or south to get back to the main road. Follow the main road until you see an industrial complex on your right. There's nothing but a civilian barrack here, but you could find some ammo, so it's pretty useful. From here, we're going to follow the road into Kamensk Town. In Kamensk Town, you're going to want to stock up on food and water, because it's going to be a long journey the rest of the way to another small compound, and then Tizzy. Uh, one building of note here is the General Store. I've been finding a lot of PU scopes in these. And then there's also a well over here. From the main road and the green building here, follow the dirt road. We're going to follow this for a long, long time. There's a couple buildings on the way, but for the most part, you're in the middle of nowhere. Once you hit the red roof barn, make a left and follow the road into the compound. Just like the last summer camp area, we have uh, some civilian barracks, some summer cabins, and a blue medical building. So it's good to loot up in this area before we head into Tizzy. Head down the hill and stay straight until you get to the main road. At the little log cabin, make a right and follow the dirt road. Just keep on following it until you find a paved road where you're going to want to make a right. This road will take you all the way into Tizzy. So Tizzy Military Base is, I mean, it's enormous. Uh, it's probably bigger than the Northwest Airfield, although after the .63 update to the Northwest Airfield, I can't say that for sure. But there's a shooting range, there's some like rocket launching pads, there's a satellite, which I don't think really spawns anything yet, but it's a cool place to check out. Uh, and then there's a really, really big tent area that you can find a lot of good loot. I mean, this base is so big that it can be kind of hard to get into firefights here because you'll hear shots and by the time you get there, the person is gone already. However, it's definitely a good place to check out and it's definitely a lot of fun to loot and if you can, get into a firefight there. Alright, so just a quick recap. We started off in Berezino and then went north to Rifty Boat. Then we went to the Northeast Airfield to a cool little civilian barracks area, 
to Sfergino Town, to a summer cabin area, to Kamensk Military Base, to Kamensk Town, all the way to another little summer cabin area, and then finally the Tizzy Military Base. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. I hope that you new players out there learned something from this video, and if you did, please subscribe and you'll get to see the first installment in this series, which took you from Solnichny all the way to the Northwest Airfield, uh, and you'll get to see the next one I plan on making, which will most likely be a southern loot route. I'm not sure yet. Although I'm really hoping to make a gameplay video before that, because I've been spending so much time making these videos that uh, I haven't had time to play the damn game. Uh, anyways, though, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.